The pressure is on, and opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. Who will be first to make their mark on the group? Next on EA TV. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And excited to be bringing you match day one action at the Euros. It's Turkey up against Portugal. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game, though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. A look at the starting 11 today. Well, in this 4-5-1 shape, it will be interesting to see how close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? We'll have to wait to see how it develops. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Vitor Ferreira in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And danger still. And a time for cool heads. Well, I'm not sure about you, Stuart, but I always think it's fascinating to dissect Portugal ahead of a big international tournament. Euro winners back in 2016, beaten finalists in 2004 when they lost against Greece. How about this incarnation of Portugal? How well equipped might they be to win it all? Well, what I like about Portugal is they've got attacking quality. Real chance! Well, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Well, we're rightly focusing on Bernardo Silva, who can be a formidable presence in midfield. What kind of qualities do you think he'll bring to this game, Stuart? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. In and around the box, his creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, it still could be dangerous. Foiling his opponent completely. Cristiano Ronaldo. And a good tackle. Being pressed and pressed high. Well, possession seeded. They had to react and did. Vitor Ferreira. Bruno Fernandes has it. It's looking promising. Takes the shot. There it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, as you can see here, Fernandez gets beyond the challenge of the defender and the strike from Fernandez is absolutely perfect. Pace, power and accuracy. What a player he is. Well, back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Chalanoru. Well, he's certainly not alone. Nicely timed tackle. <laughs> well, Portugal might be onto something, but they dealt with the threat first. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there.
Good through ball. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Now options are plenty. Oh, good looking run. Will it be? Oh, missed the chance. Glorious opportunity to level it. Well, what a chance for the equaliser. They really should have scored there. from the keeper will they seize on it cook to veering in field here well he tried to put everything into the shot but couldn't find the target Verdi Cadioglu. Good technique display. And it took a touch on the way through. So a corner here. Played over. Well, capable of a better clearance than that. And saved by the keeper. Still not clear. Chalanolu. And the shot. Oh, off the post. Still alive. Well, they were so close to the equaliser there. They're certainly a bit unlucky, but they need to make more of these chances. And a very good challenge. Yilmaz and it wasn't a great pass was it Rafael Leao and Portugal struggling to keep the ball and getting the ball forward but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end Ronaldo. This looks more than decent. Now then there to tidy up. Nuno Menge. Ronaldo. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Bruno Fernandes. to keep the concentration well here's another look and you can see what a good finish this is he holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure that's a great goal so back underway with the lead standing at 2-0 Kerem Aktyur Kolu. On the ball, Rafael Leao. Nuno Mensch. A real opening now.
Well, here it is again, and wow, just look how close that is. It's the perfect finish in the end. So back in action. It's been all Portugal so far. You sense there could be extra punishment in store. Yefan Chan Cavecci. Determined defending. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. He'll try his luck here. But the keeper takes charge, and it was pretty straightforward. Now plays with a positional sense that is second to none. Chananolu in with a chance. Still could be dangerous. And a goal at the second time of asking. But the keeper has let his team down. Well, here it is again. And I don't think it's good enough from the goalkeeper. You have to say that. He spilled it right into the danger zone. And at this level, you're always going to be punished. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Silva, very quick thinking there. Ferdi Cadioglu, well, showing really good width here. Played into the centre. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Opportunity here. Oh, that's a fine save. Pressing like that will help the cause. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. He's driven in the corner. Still not clear. Yilmaz. And he takes it on. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Mopping up defensively. Vitor Ferreira. Leal. And quick thinking defensively. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Yevhan Chan Kavecci. Chance to cross. Terrific piece of anticipation. Given away by Ronaldo. Chalanolu could reduce the deficit. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, no doubt about it, Bruno Fernandes bringing his considerable influence to bear on the proceedings. He's been a joy to watch. Well, he's been brilliant today. His skill, his movement, his goals, what a good performance. And he's not finished just yet. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Good distribution. And a chance to whip it in here. 
Opportunity. Oh, what a clearance under pressure. Had to react and did. Flirting with more than a bit of danger following that challenge. He's already been booked. But it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. And Portugal exploiting the space on the flank. That's a nice-looking ball. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. And a strong tackle. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo. But what can he produce from here? Real chance. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Teammates available. Ronaldo. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Concession of a corner here. <laughs> Playing it in. But he can't keep that effort on target. And a goal kick it'll be. And Diogo Costa has it now. Nuno Mendes. Bernardo Silva. Effective challenge. Oh, the threat is there. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Cristiano Ronaldo. Portugal finding space on the wing. Fernandes. And the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Irfan Chan Kavecci. Good-looking build-up as they try to reduce the arrears. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. And in the right position to read it. Not quite the accuracy he was looking for. That'll be a goal kick. And time for the change now.
Cristiano Ronaldo. And Portugal showing good wins. No possibilities in the centre. Bruno Fernandes. Magnificent defending. Ronaldo. Ronaldo! And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Abdul Karim Badakche. Ronaldo. And he might be through here. Trying to lob the keeper. Well, a lovely chip, and it had a chance. Well, it's a really good effort, but he just can't get it underneath the crossbar. And a substitution in the offing. Bruno Fernandes, good idea, and the chance is on, and there is the goal, he's found the net, joy unconfined. Well, as you can see again, Fernandes plays a perfectly weighted pass beyond the defenders, and it's a good run, matched by a very cool finish, what a great goal that is. Lot of goals, 5-1 it is. Well, he's certainly not alone. A very effective challenge put in. Chalanolu. 20 minutes to go in this one. Cenk Tosun. Well, just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though. And a failure to keep the ball on Portugal's part. Irfan Chan Cavecci. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. Well, that's good defending. Well organised at the back. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Bruno Fernandes has it. Nicely timed tackle. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Kukchu. And Cenk Tosun. Kukchu. And a goal kick it'll be. Too much height on the shot.
Ferreira. Bruno Fernandes. And Ronaldo just needs to remain level-headed. Well, that is high-level goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. That's goalkeeping of the highest quality, I would say. to shoot and he's fired it against the post and the attack fizzling out and now their turn to have the ball Silva chance to attack using wit and he's broken free it could be up for grabs and there it is an almost intuitive piece of finishing well as you can see the first save is a good one but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball the keeper's a bit unlucky really Yasichi, well, back and forth in terms of possession and coolly done in the end will be a throw in for Portugal here Joao Felix perfect tackle really good wide play but nothing comes of it good defending it was Joao Felix Portugal being afforded too much space here good looking cross Bruno Fernandes and with that they've thwarted the opportunity plenty of support here Fernando Silva and still danger here well nothing comes of it and he's won the ball. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Well, it's always at the discretion of the referee, in this case, opting not to book him. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And a big chunk of added time here, a minimum of five minutes. Abdul Kerim Badakchi. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee.
Ronaldo untidy with the ball. Chalanolu. Well, that looked to me like excessive force. What was the referee's reading of it? And there it is, a red card, and everything was going mostly to plan. Well, it shouldn't affect the result, but it ruins what has been a very good performance. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Chance to run at them. It's still there for him. Oh, my goodness, you've really got to praise the defending. That was top-notch. And the final whistle here, a real sense of feel-good in the Portuguese camp on the back of this victory, Stuart. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest.